So this is Navin Kansan, who is currently working as the Chief Creative Officer at 21 and 78 Creative Labs. So can you give us a brief of your career? Uh, so I've had a sort of a very varied career path. Uh, I started off uh, uh, doing educational films uh, where I was kind of scripting them, uh, producing them. Uh, then I kind of graduated to writing for television a bit. Uh, from then on, I kind of moved to advertising. And for close to two decades now, I have been exclusively working in the field of advertising. Um, I have done my time in a lot of uh, uh, advertising uh, agencies uh, like Ogilvy and Mather, Gray Worldwide, Leo Burnett. Uh, currently, I am working as the chief creative officer at an advertising startup called 21 North 78 East, 78 East Creative Labs. Um, the coordinates have an interesting story to it. Uh, uh, 21 North and 78 East uh, are very close to uh, Nagpur. Okay, and uh, that happens to be the heart of India, right? So if you have to kind of plot the latitude and longitude on the map, that would really be the heart of India. So the, our intent is to kind of go ahead and create advertising that kind of resonates with the heart of India. And that's where the name kind of finds its raison the author as it were. Uh, so yes, so that is where I currently am. And I've been uh, there at 21 and 78 East Creative Labs for the past uh, two and a half years. Okay, so what do you think are the skill sets students should um, develop if they are looking to pursue a career in the field of advertising? So, if you want to be uh, somebody who wants to uh, pursue a career in advertising, uh, you could look at entering it through two or three different ways, right? Uh, let's say, as if, if you have a sort of a creative bent of mind, uh, you could uh, be kind of looking to make your foray into advertising as, as a copywriter. If you think that you are a person who is who likes to think out of the box, who's great in terms of his or her uh, knowledge of the language where one is advertising in is 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 absolutely uh, uh, excellent. Uh, so uh, while English still continues to be the dominant language when it comes to communication, be it in print and radio, etc. Okay, vernacular languages and obviously our national language Hindi does find a lot of sort of other thing, but you should be a person who should be essentially brimming with ideas, right? Uh, you could also enter advertising if you have, a, uh, and it's not necessary you need to have a sort of a formal degree, but it always helps uh, in, in commercial art, uh, wherein you are kind of adept at certain sort of softwares, you have a great sort of design aesthetic. And you can bring that aesthetic to bear uh, to your uh, field, and therefore then kind of go ahead and execute. Uh, whether you are executing a, a layout for print or for an outdoor campaign uh, or uh, for a digital uh, campaign, be it kind of creation of websites or mobile applications, right? Designing the UI UX of those, right? You can bring that to bear. You could also enter into advertising if you think that you have great people skills, right? Where it is more about kind of how you kind of liaison with the uh, client on the brand side of things. Uh, so that's another way to kind of uh, look into advertising. Uh, the fourth and perhaps uh, you know one of the most sort of critical parts of you know how an advertising agency runs is to kind of bring your strategic thinking into bear, right? So if you are somebody who's got a great strategic acumen, then you kind of enter advertising as a planner, right? So these are the three or four ways in which you can kind of uh, carve a niche for yourself in the field of advertising. Okay, great. So what guidance do you have for a student who is not sure on taking up advertising? What are the pros and cons? Okay. So uh, if I were to kind of tell you the pros of advertising is that uh, no two days are the same. There's nothing routine about it. Uh, in fact, I would uh, stick my neck out and say that uh, there's a lot of chaos, right? If you are the kind of person who likes to thrive on new challenges every day, 
if you are the kind of person who perhaps is a bit of a restless sort uh, and and restless in a, in a good way by restless i don't mean that somebody who kind of gets bored very easily but somebody who loves to take on new challenges every day uh, somebody who is very very intent in terms of changing the status quo uh, somebody who thinks that you know he or she is uh, very persuasive in the way they communicate and because at the end of the day advertising is all about shifting the needle in in consumer behavior right so if you think you have those sort of qualities in you uh, then uh, advertising is uh, definitely the uh, field for you uh, if i were to look at the cons of advertising for somebody who might look at it as the pros they become the cons themselves because there's nothing routine about it so there's nothing predictable about it right um, it can get uh, overwhelming at times um there are no sort of uh, fixed hours uh, there may be uh, you know a lot of times when you need to kind of burn the candle at both ends uh, there may be a lot of weekend work that might be required of you uh, and it kind of completely depends on uh, what is it so if this for example you know if you're launching a new campaign for a brand right at that point in time work really begins to get a lot intense right secondly unlike other forms of you know creative fields etc here you are kind of doing it for two things one is you're doing it for the brand the other is what you create therefore for the brand has to be accepted by the consumer which means that your creativity is kind of subjected to a lot of uh, close looks by everyone and anyone involved which means that there are a lot of opinions that are proffered and you somewhere need to kind of make some sense out of that sort of a madness as it were so which means that despite the chaos that exists you need to kind of keep a cool head on your shoulders and try and ensure that it doesn't overwhelm you uh, you will find uh, at, at a fair number of places you will find probably more rejection than success uh, and that is all part of uh, growing up and being a part of advertising but that's okay because in at the end what you create uh is something that you can be proud of it's something that uh, if it can move the needle on uh the brand in terms of sales and uh, awareness uh, uh at the end of the day it's a job well done okay great so thank you navin thank you so much for your time good luck on your work thank you so much yaran it was a pleasure talking to you take care all the best